In this video, I'm going to show you how to make these killer form shadows in After Effects that are really flexible and can be used on almost anything. Now this chat was designed in Illustrator and then I pushed the shapes to After Effects using the plugin Overlord, but importing the AI file would work just as fine. Now we've got nothing selected, so let's go up to our pen tool up here and let's start drawing a little shadow on this character on the bottom right hand side. Let's overextend on this side as well. At first I draw it really loosely and now I can go and adjust it. I'll extend these out a bit and then I'm gonna make these Bezier curves kind of try to align parallel-ish to the edge of the body here. So it kind of looks like a natural fall off of light if it was illuminated from the top left up here. This is looking okay. We can always adjust this later. And let's rename this layer body shadow because we always label our layers. Now let's drag that above our body layer and we're gonna add the effect set matte. And we're gonna make it take the matte from layer 11, which is our body. And now we can see it's confined just to that circular body layer. Now this can work fine as a shadow as is, but if you want that nice rim lighting that surrounds the edges of the shadow, we're gonna add the effect simple choker. And let's just drag up the choke matte until we get a nice result that we want. And let's zoom in. As you can see, particularly at the corners, the more we matte in, the more it's gonna reduce it down to the center and the more it's gonna round the edges as well. So let's keep it at about maybe 20. And then from here, we can adjust it as we like as well. Maybe moving it a bit further down. And it's important that this simple choker is added after the set mat in the effect stack. If we bring it above the set mat, it gets matted out by that shape. So you get it choked on this edge, but not on the edge on the right, which is where we really want it to get that rim light. Now we've got the basis for our shadow. From here, we could even just grab this body and move it. I have all the other layers parented to it. And you can see if we don't parent the shadow to this object, we can kind of almost move this object in and out of the light just by moving its position. You could also animate the shape path of this shadow layer as well to get some neat effects. But what I like to do is to get some slight movement on this shadow, I'm gonna add the effect wave warp. And I'm going to take this wave warp effect and bring it to the top of the effect stack. So it's doing the warping, then making the mat, and then choking that mat again. So with this wave warp, let's adjust the direction first of all. So it looks nice and even across it. Reduce the height down to maybe five and bring the width up to something much bigger, like 80. And now we can see we've got a bit of movement in that shadow. Let's take that wave speed down to 0.5 though. Maybe a bit further down to 0.3. There, that's looking nice and subtle. And that's really the basics of this effect. I've also included in this working file a little rig that I made up. So this, we've got an alien head character and then I've got a bunch of those shadow layers all rigged to a light source, which is this circle here, and then parented that to a controller. So if I just move this null object around, you can see it illuminating different parts of the faces. And in particular, when we get to the sort of different illuminated shapes, you can see the edges are nice and rounded on these top shapes here. And I really like this design where these form shadows are rounded. And you can make that as subtle as you want by changing the simple choke value here. And you can change the scale of this null as well if you want this to act like a spotlight. This method of adding shadows is a great way to add a bit of depth to a scene quickly on an object. And it's super flexible and you can adjust it to your own needs. I've made a short playlist of some related videos that I think you'll enjoy if you've made it this far. I'll see you in the next video and please consider subscribing if you'd like more of these videos every week.